historic day for the Commonwealth as Fort Lee changed its name to Fort Greg Adams this afternoon. And it isn't just the name of the base that's changing this year. Mm -hmm. Throughout 2023, more than 20 streets and facilities on the base will also be given new names. Prince George's Fort Lee is one of nine bases across the country that are being renamed because of their names ties to the Confederacy. This is video of the unveiling inside the base earlier this afternoon. With its new name, Fort Greg Adams, the base becomes the first U.S. military base to be named after Black Army veterans. And Lieutenant General Arthur Gregg will become the first living person in modern U.S. history to have their name on an Army base. And my thoughts turn to all of those people who uh, helped me in my life and, uh, and, and my career. Uh, that uh, made me a, uh, a, a, a candidate for that great honor. Both Lieutenant General Gregg and Lieutenant Colonel Charity Adams were honored today for breaking barriers in the Army. A new exhibit at the Quartermaster Museum at Fort Gregg Adams will teach both civilians and soldiers about its new namesakes. We did want to learn more about the people who Fort Lee is being renamed for. As we heard, retired Lieutenant General Arthur Gregg, he lives in Dumfries, Virginia right now. Last week, our Cameron Thompson and photojournalist Chris Norton made the trip up I-95 to talk with Gregg in person and hear his story. Gregg joined the Army in 1946 when it was still segregated. When I arrived, I could not enter the officers club, but by the end of 1950, I was able to go into the officers club and, and other facilities on base. Eventually, Greg would become the first African American to reach the rank of Lieutenant General. Lieutenant Colonel Charity Adams was the highest ranking black woman in World War II. Adams died back in 20, uh, 2002, but her son hopes as soldiers pass through the gates of Fort Greg Adams, they'll look to his mother's story for inspiration. She never felt like she was like a superhero or there was something uh, magic about it, but she always felt that given, given the same level of opportunity that she could be successful at whatever she tried, as successful as anybody else could. 